Greetings and welcome everyone to this World of Tanks video. I have a really fun one for you. I think you'll enjoy this. It is with my G.I. Joe Armadillo, which is a super light tank and one of my killer crew trainers. So let me get this for you. It's not too long, but it's very instructional. All right. Well, the first minute was boring anyway. I just got this cut down to the five minute version. So now we're moving into some real action. So this guy is a 16 shot auto loader. So ideally, you want to get a guy who's been damaged, roll up, deliver 16 or however many you need, kick his butt. Go hide and reload. Mission complete on the first one. I'm still just evading fire as I line up my next victim. So long, chump. This thing is a vicious killer at point blank range. Which this guy's about to find out. He's dead, Jim. That's two. Now, I, I paid for that one, but that was worth it. Oh, that hurt. So long. I emptied my magazine into that guy, so my team will have to take care of him. You know, sometimes you have to rely on your team to do some butt kicking. It's not a one-man show. Well, preferably not, anyway. So this guy, he's about to get the treatment. One armadillo special. That's three. <clears throat> so basically speaking, as you can see, I have 1799 damage, 1950 plus assist damage. And it's just three minutes old. The armadillo has the potential to, to step up and just butt kick early. Not every game, but it's possible. If you have a decent team, it, it's not cool for the other team. And I have I have a good team. And you're you know that's the deal. As part of a good team, the armadillo is a vicious killer. In the right hands used properly. Right now, you see in the middle, there's some, there's a medium and I think a heavy tank. So I'm looking for the next meal. The armadillo is very much a predator. You know, once the blood, he's like a, he's like a shark. Once the blood is in the water, goodbye, Charlie. Yeah, I took, I wasn't prepared for where the guy was at, so if I made a mistake, I should have turned down to the right. Eh, it's okay. <clears throat> Man, missed my shot on that guy. That was because I took the wrong direction. I took, should have gone right, I went left to the top of the hill. That's my fault. I might have gotten another kill. So, always look to improve yourself. You know, call a mistake a mistake, or maybe in, in you know a less than perfect play. It's not necessarily a mistake. I didn't get killed or anything like that. I just I had a chance to score more and I didn't take advantage of it. And that's that was on me. This guy, I'm a vulture. That's four. Spoiler alert, I don't kill anymore. But that's okay. I got four kills, I can't complain. I see this guy. I travel at 100. I figure I'm going to give it a shot. Oh well, I didn't make it. I'm not complaining. <clears throat> and now, that recording is over. So that was fantastic. I did make a screenshot of the final screen let me get that for you 
Here is the end of that <clears throat> match. You'll see that my experience in this 50% bonus experience commander was through the roof with 26,000. And I did not use any commander bonus tokens, you know, no times four or times sixes. That game was so good, it was unexpected. I was on fire. I got it. I got the uh, commander skill, which I've already put on that guy. And it's in my other video of super crew trainer commanders. Made a fortune. 143,000 silver in one match. No bonus. That's just from that match. Because when you have a just a grotesque score, 2480 damage, 4 kills, and almost 2,000 assist damage, you're going to jackpot every time that happens. And the Armadillo has that. One of the things about the Armadillo, it's a perfect match for me almost in that anytime I play, I'm a legitimate contender to pull MVP. I catch a break or two, and well, you saw me, you know, it was just, I, I've got the right guys at the right time. People were attacking. I swoop in like a vulture. It was awesome. And I could have done even better. You know, that's okay. I don't worry about it. It was a fun match. And that's what's great about the Armadillo. It's a very fun tank. You know, it's the most expensive tank I ever bought. I paid, you know, 11,300 gold for that. It was worth every penny. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I'm, I'm an old G.I. Joe guy from the 60s. So it was like, man, I like I don't like to spend a lot of money on a on a on a tank like that, you know. Now I have saved up a lot of gold um, over the years, so it's like it's not that bad. But I spent eleven thousand plus gold on that dude, worth every penny, and you see why. That game was so easy for me. The flow was easy, not that the game was easy, but the flow of that game because it fits my style. My style is a quick, vicious, uh, vulture style light tank player. The Ar Armadillo fits that and it works great for me. So it's not for everyone. You know, it's an awesome tank if you're a great light tank player. And if you're a mediocre light tank player, it's still good. Now, it won't be as awesome for a medium guy, an average light tank player, as it is for me, but it's still going to be good. So you have to match what you do and the tanks you get. I have a lot of great medium tanks, but I'm an, you know, my friend says I'm, I'm above average. So I'm like, okay, he says I'm above average. I'm above average medium tank player like this. But in the light tank world, I'm up here. And you saw that. So I don't like to play a lot of medium tanks, except out of necessity for ops or for contracts. It's not my cup of tea, you know, as Austin Powers would say, it ain't my bag, man. So my bag is a light tank or artillery. That's where I make my, you know, my presence felt the most. So I wanted to show you on just an awesome uh, light tank game. And there it is. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe. Tell your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again.